Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hope channel. Today we are going to learn a very very important lesson wherein if I ask you, if you see in the unassigned particular tab, right, unassigned tab, there are so many different tasks which are created, okay, and in between there are even different tasks. So resource requirement is a task, finance requirement is another task, and then below again you have a resource requirement. So now if I ask you all the resource requirement tasks, you need to assign it to someone, okay, all of it, all of this task, you need to assign it to someone where, where it says resource requirement, okay, or where the catalog name is so and so or test, here I have given us test as the catalog name. So if I open any of the task, click on any of the task and click on action summary, see the catalog name is test. So it could be any, any kind of a catalog name. So based on that, so catalog is nothing but category, more like a category. So anything which has a category called test or anything which has a title called resource requirement, whatever it is, right? So I need to assign all of those kind of tasks to a specific user. Anything which has a finance requirement that should be gone to some other user. So something like that. So the requirement should be clear. How to automatically assign specific unassigned tasks. Okay. How to do that. And this is very, very important for us to learn how to do it. Okay. So to do that, let's get started. We'll go back to UiPath Studio and start doing it from the beginning. Okay. Now, first of all, how many tasks are there under the unassigned tab I need to know right for that I have created a video called get form tasks I hope you have already gone through that if not even this video is going to help you so what you do uh, you have all the activities right uh, all the different packages that you must have installed one of the packages UI path persistence activities I'm going to click on that I'll click on the tasks okay and then uh, because I had something typed on the top that's why so let's go down so here you have something called get form task you can also search for it I'm just showing you just to give you a little bit of understanding of the package which contains it okay so I'll be using the get form tasks simple now the first thing it is asking what you want what kind of tasks you want so task catalog name so here a task catalog name if you see if you highlight any of this activity the task catalog name is shown here in the below otherwise you can also see it from here in the action summary the catalog name is test okay and all these catalogs are found if you go to admin settings click on this and go to admin settings here i had already created couple of catalogs and i have a very specific video if you click on your folder where your uh, UAPA studio is connected to that's where you should create the catalogs and I have I have a very specific video explaining about all of this and the usage of it so you can see the test catalog is available so let me go back to actions and this is the name which I'll be using okay so let's go back to the studio and in the catalog name I am simply saying test okay so this is done now reference is not required filter this is very important so from where you want to get them you have got three different areas pending unassigned and completed so i want to get it from the unassigned right so that's where you have to write and if you do not know how to write it you all you need to do is in the filter this is filter right go to filter and keep your mouse pointer below the rectangle rectangular box which says how to write it for example status eq unassigned the same way you need to write it okay so i will show you i have already created a video on get form task you can watch that in case you need detailed explanation status eq and then single quote and i'm going to write unassigned okay all your spellings and everything you should ensure it is all correct okay status eq single quote unassigned this is done um, now uh, I need what are the things that you need so here the, there is again something called select if you know how to write it this is the format you should write okay so what are the things you want you want to capture <coughs> so first thing I need is ID then I need let's say status let's say I need title 
whatever you need okay you can mention that depending on your requirement so ensure your format is correct okay so all of this is string so i am writing in the required the example it was given the same way i was writing then it is asking for a task object let's create a task object and this is very important variable control plus k and i am going to say form task okay tasks so i am getting the form tasks so or unassigned task, whatever name you want to give all right so everything is created now what i want i want to loop through it okay so that so i'll use a for each loop and in the for each loop i want to loop through this form task so hit on the form write the form tasks done now this form task the type argument need to be set now to understand what type argument i should set go to the form task keep your mouse pointer and try to read the rectangular box which it clearly tells you ui path in the bracket right in the in the angular bracket it says ui path dot persistence dot activities form task form task data the so same thing once you take a note of that go here to the type argument browse for types and simply type it ui path very simple dot persistence dot activities so all your spellings while you are typing should be clear and then form right form task and, and if if i expand this form task data clear form task data click on okay all right so exactly it matches yes form task data done so once that is done uh, first of all let's see if it is pulling all the ids which has the tagline um, which has the catalog name as test okay let's see so for that i'm going to simply make it as item dot id so that way i can see the i will compare the id numbers okay so fine everything looks good now let's see let's do a manual count so 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six such uh, tasks so let's see if our workflow is able to pull all the six then the next part we are going to assign it to someone automatically okay for that also i'll create a workflow so first let's test this okay you can see retrieved six tasks if you look at this so that means one two three four five and six okay so all the six specific tasks have been retrieved okay fine so it is working fine now the another so i generally don't need the message box let me delete it i need to assign it to someone okay now to assign it to someone again you go back to the ui path persistence dot activities and you have something called assign tasks so within the for each loop let us add the assigned tasks now in this one all you need to do create a variable so i am creating a variable in the task user assignment control plus k and remember not to provide these exact name task user assignment because this is one of the method uh, this is one of the variable type so don't uh, mention the exact name i am going to create a different uh, let's say i am saying user assignment on uh, instead of user i can say um, let's think of something um, okay let's say user assignment okay just remember so that you will be able to differentiate fine i have created a variable so once you create the variable nothing else you need to do user assignment now go to the variable panel okay go to the variable panel and try to see what kind of a so it is again a list okay this is again a collection so here if you highlight look read the rectangular box which clearly tells you it is a ui path dot persistence dot activities dot tasks dot task user assignment so make a make a note of this okay we are going to use it so this is a list now into a list if i have to add some value i will use add to collection so you must be aware how to work on a list right i have a simple video you can watch that that will give clear idea why i am doing add to collection uh, list expo hub you can search so add to collection now here what i am going to do the collection name or the list name is user assignment so go ahead and type the variable name user assignment but you'll see there is an error why there is an error because we need to 
change the type argument so that's where i told you to take a note of that so what what was that ui path dot persistence dot activities right dot tasks it was related to tasks so task so what was that uh, task user assignment right okay let's see that let me check it again uh, so if i highlight it is task tasks tasks user assignment okay so looks good task user assignment okay and then it is asking us to enter what item you need to enter so for this there is a simple expression i am going to teach you all you need to do to add into this collection so this is new task user assignment kind right method task user assignment and in the bracket whom i want to assign so for that i am using the variable task so here i we are inside the for each loop right we are inside the for each loop so for each task id item dot id if i write we have used this same option in the message box to see all the id so item dot id comma whom you want to assign it look at the format okay and you have to provide the email address of the user whom you want to assign so the email address here is rakesh 874u at the rate gmail.com so this is the testimonial do not try to send emails to this i do not monitor so fine so i have done this this is clear item dot id and then i have done this okay click on okay now look at this everything is done properly now your question is rakesh how do i find my user id so to find the user id all you need to do is go to your orchestrator okay log into your orchestrator and then on the main page okay so this is the it folder and on the on the, uh, the i'm in the folder where, where my studio is connected you can see it folder so uh, if you go here there is something called users click on that and then click on edit option so if you do this you would be able to find username as so and so so whatever the username you are registered you need to use that okay so everything is done let's see if everything is working properly as we have designed or anything is wrong we will find that out okay now look at the status of our actions so right now there are seven different actions out of which six are related to what we need and one is unwanted i mean one is the other different one finance requirement so i want to assign all the resource requirements okay so that is the requirement so we have got the requirement let's run it and see if it is working fine or not okay retrieved all the six, six tasks the property collection of r2 collection is not initialized so look at this it has given an error so let's correct it if you got this error reason being um, you are using a list and before you add to collection you need to initialize it so that was the error let's do that so all i need to do it here is new list you know this right how to initialize new list of and then what kind of a variable you are dealing with task user assignment okay why i am writing task user assignment if you highlight if you read the rectangular box the last dot after the last dot task user assignment right the same thing i am declaring fine so let's see let's run it now and see if it is working properly okay so in our action center everything is there as it is let's go back to the studio okay it has pulled all the six items and now one by one it is assigning to me okay you can see r2 collection executing body closed assign task executing okay so it has done the job let's go back to the action center and here in the unassigned type if i you know try to refresh it you can see only the finance requirement is here but rest of it has moved to pending and everything has been assigned to me because it has moved to my pending list right so it has moved to rakesh kumar so if you open any action summary okay you can, you can see assigned to rakesh kumar so it has been assigned to me so this is how you can automatically 
assign specific unassigned tasks so i hope this video will be really helpful if you are doing any project or in your interview if it is asked if you have gone through this exercise i am pretty sure you will be able to answer it pretty well so thank you so much guys for connecting the, with me on this video and we are going to come up with more interesting videos please do like please do share and subscribe thank you so much we are going to meet in our next video bye bye